Vermont's a small state, and because it's so small, it was hard to find something for it. After digging around, I came across the story of the Haunted Vermont Asylum. This asylum, like many others, held mentally ill patients. It was founded in 1834 and was renamed the Brattleboro Retreat in the late 19th century. Unlike a lot of asylums, the patients were treated with dignity and respect. This is the most well-known building of the asylum, because this is where a lot of the hauntings are. This tower was built in 1887 by the patients. The doctors thought that manual labor would help the mental patients regain their stability. The tower was supposed to show a scenic view of the asylum, but patients used it for something else. They would climb to the top of the tower and jump off to commit suicide. We don't know how many people committed suicide because the numbers are hidden, which doesn't bode well. Since then, the tower has been sealed off, but several people have reported seeing a ghostly figure jumping off the tower and vanish before they hit the ground. Disembodied screams can be heard as well as the feeling of being watched. Because of the many deaths, they built a cemetery close by, and some people have reported seeing fleeting shadow figures and images out of the corner of their eyes. Today, it's still a treatment center for mental health patients, but it's haunted by the creepy and eerie past of the old days.